Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are back down in Florida, we're back down in Miami. We are going to Moto Miami, and today is day one. This is Friday, and we are headed to go pick up our media credentials at the media center over at the Biltmore Hotel. So, check out my room. Save the quality in. Hey, actually it's not too bad. The pool's pretty sweet, I gotta give you that. I'll to give you that much, so, but all right. But you gotta check out, I got myself upgraded on the car. Um, so I can have some fun, go all touristy. I got myself a four series convertible to utilize on this little trip. So, and the weather's nice as you can see. It was supposed to be cloudy, but I mean, it's still a little bit cloudy, but it's nice, but I'll tell you what, the people up in Amelia, they're not having fun because it's raining. I just got a text from my buddy, Mike Pipitone, and he said, it's raining up there. He sent me a photo and it doesn't look pleasant at all. It looks cold and wet. So, anyways, here's what we're ch chilling in in this for the next few days, no, I'm say four days. So. Anyways, um, we're going to the Biltmore, go pick up our media construction and see if there's anything going on today. Not sure there's too much, but hey, it's set up and whatnot. We will find out. So back to you shortly. All right, so I will say, coming down from Ohio where it was about 22 degrees, I think when I left, uh, I know it's supposed to warm back up over the weekend and get back in the 60s, but I will say this, there's nothing like driving around down in Florida when it's, oh, I think 82 degrees roughly right now. What does it say? No, only oh, 79, but sun's out, gun's out top down just tooling having some fun so this is sweet you can't beat this to get away from the cold weather and all that and whatnot up in ohio it kind of puts you in a better mood so but anyways i'm going to talk a little bit about moda miami here why we're headed there and what we got anticipate now i heard about this a while back because i know in conversations and i know uh, mr tamarian from curated played a big role and i think getting this set up with rm uh, I know a few years back, it was a scuttlebutt, you know, and John was talking, he wanted to create this, you know, unique event and kind of something, you know, uh, not to say I'm like a riding his coattails, but I had kind of the same thought as, hey, you have art, cars, you know, culinary, you know, combine all these cool things into one event and just have everyone, you know, create these sensations, you know, this, you know, interactive, you know, just have some fun with it. So I just walk around staring at cars. So. As it grew and it came, it all started coming together, man. They got some really cool stuff, and I guess that road is closed. I'm supposed to go that way. See, that road's closed. So I guess can't go that way, so we've got to take a little detour. So, no biggie. Um, but anyways, so they have a, they've cultivated and curated an outstanding and unbelievable selection of cars. Um, I don't know if you went online and look and see what they have, but they got some really cool things. Shelby America is supposed to launch some. Oh, my God, there's this bird going out in the middle of the street. Uh, get going, buddy. Um... So it's gonna be really cool to see. So like I said, I don't think they really got much going on today on Friday. I hope maybe they got set up going on or whatnot. We'll find out. So we'll see here momentarily. That bird right there was trying to cross the street. So I don't know where he's staring at. But anyways, so we should be there, I don't know, in about 20 minutes or so, maybe 30 minutes, because traffic down in Florida is horrendous. So all my bike, oh, move to Florida, move to Florida, whatnot. Well, one, it gets to 120 degrees in the summer. It's just stifling high. You don't even want to go outside. Two, traffic sucks. Oh my God, last night, to drive 40 miles, it took me almost two hours. I mean, it's just terrible. And people just drive like morons around here. So anyway, onward and upward to the Biltmore and to get our credentials and see what's going on and see what we can make happen. Back to you shortly, guys. Appreciate you listening. Hit that like and subscribe button. All right, guys, so we got here to, <clears throat> I gotta go pick up my media credentials, but you know, they got, obviously got some stuff getting set up and setting things up and you can hear some rumblings going on. Look at that gorgeous 365 right there. I need to put my mic on because I got this thing set up here. So I don't know how well you might be able to hear my verbiage. But check this thing out. Oh, love these. This is from Curated. The EB110 Super Sport Prototype, if I'm not mistaken. If memory serves me from speaking with Barton there. But this thing is stunning. I think it's only got like 600 kilometers, something like that. I know it's something ridiculously low. So, but look at that, stunning. I'm trying to just put something in my pocket over here. So, don't mind that rough one. But, what else we got here? We got an M1, look at, ooh, black on black. Don't see many black on blacks of these things. Look at that. Now, these things are stunning. I mean, they don't have a lot of power, but you know what, they're just magnificent looking. Just a six banger in there. But look at that, that thing is so cool. Someone needs to find one of these that's like, you know, beyond motor blowing whatnot and just like dump big motor in or whatnot like go nuts with the newer 
Beamer motor, like drop in a uh, a newer M3 motor in or something in there. That thing would be sweet. But look at this. Actually, I got it up in Cleveland where I'm from. <laughs> and um, it's a store called Rally House. Yeah, this gentleman's asked me about my hat because he's a Buckeye man. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, What's up, I, brother? It's good to meet you. Yeah, man, the hat is awesome. And you don't see him here like that. No, that's the South thing is, yeah, yeah, I try and uh, I got a red one too. Uh, same thing, but yeah, it's called, It's uh, the store is called Rally House. Uh -huh. It's this Nike dry fit. Man, that's a nice hat. Man. Yeah, so I mean, because it's nice, because I don't like like big curve. I like yeah, it a little yeah, more yeah, flat, yeah, not like completely yeah, flat, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, trust me, it's, uh, you're not the first person that said something, like, where'd you get that? And, uh, yeah, but no, it fits nice, they're great hats. Yeah, that, I love Check it. out, yeah, look up Rally House. Rally online. House. Yeah. I definitely will. All right, man. Thanks, and then look at this gorgeous mirror. Look at that. Look at that. Stunning. I believe I'm still taping. Yes, because I can see my thing going, but look at this. Beautiful, beautiful mirror. Look at that. Stunning stuff. And then, look at that. My, oh my. Unbelievable. XKSS. -S. Beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, look at this. This is just walked it in. And see, that's the only thing. Look at this line up. Look at it here. Coming up front here, it's got an FF. I don't know, it's got an passage. Look at the GT40 over there. Look at that DPL. Oh, look at that thing. Look at the hood on that thing. That thing is sweet. Hey, it's killer. Look at these bad boys. Look at that. Super fronts. Outstanding stuff. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a killer. Tell you what, man, this is going to be one hell of a show. Get Amelia. You guys gotta start coming down to Moda. Coming around. These guys in their hands. I think they guys just did a drive. Look at this. I think everyone knows what that is. That is a rare bird right there. Look at that. Look at yours. It's purple. Purple. White, black interior. Look at that. Hey, Stradman, I think that's right up your alley. I don't know if you're here or not this weekend, but that's you. Look at this. 3.6 turbo. Uh -oh. Oh. Look at that. So, now there's a... Uh, the McLaren over here I want to get because it's got a cool look to it. Oh, hey, we got some other stuff. Getting with Aston. They said Aston did a drive or something this morning. I think it was at 9 o'clock or something like that. Kind of invite-only type deal. Um, doing a butt. Check that out. This 720S. Very nice. Got your Cullinan. in. Got that Ferrari. Is that F8, right? It's not a terrible thing, but look at this STO. Look at that. Look at that STO. Kind of like a golf livery colors. I should go get my dang, uh, credentials here before they shut down but hey i'm going to check out this ford gtx look at this the prototype right there look at that i have to come back and get some photos and stuff too but look at that wow cool stuff cool stuff all right i need to go get my credentials so we will pause here and we'll be back shortly all right so it's going to be a bit windy so i apologize for the wind i'll try and do that and post edit and try and get that cleared up but it's kind of interesting because all this is just set up today they got cars scattered right but check this out just random hennessy venom f5 just parked out here look at that i love the color look at that he it over. i love that hey, wait, wait, wait. look at the sizes these are the same ones i have on yeah. the Mercedes. Little wing Outstanding. These things are beautiful. So, as you can see, it's just set up. So, we're going to see what else we can kind of check out. Because what's cool about, you know, you come on setup day, my camera works out. 
is obviously checking out stuff up and close that you're not probably wouldn't be able to get up too close on on show day. But you can see over there it's got the Sotheby's auction preview, so we're gonna head over there and check these things out. What? That little uh yeah, tin set up. That is electric. What are you guys out of? Out of right next to Lime Rock Racetrack in Connecticut. Really? Yeah. Tell you what, here, um, let me give you some. You come on a podcast? I will always. Here, you can see, see the bottom one? Yeah. So we got a whole uh, cluster of uh, podcasts, motoring, obviously car related stuff. Okay. So we're just trying to get them, you know, nice kind of theme to them all. Nice. So reach out to me. We'll get you on there. Okay. I and, just uh, did the, uh, what's it called? Who did it? Haggerty. Haggerty podcast. With, oh, perfect. All right. With Larry Webster. Yeah, exactly. So did that last week. So yeah. it's up, up online now. You can see it if you want. Yeah, but, I'll yeah. check it out. But yeah, no, set it up. I'd love to talk to you guys about this because okay. obviously this is where things are going. So super you fun. Know, 500 I mean, it looks, horsepower. Looks beautiful. 500 newton meters of torque, absolute beast. You guys have it where obviously reversible to go back, if just you nice want. and you know, swap it's back. Just mildly but, retarded, but yeah, yeah, it's totally reversible. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like there is there. nothing Why would you? welded, and there is nothing changed in the car other than the ordinary mounting points for your motor yeah. and your transmission. Like I'm William. Phil. Phil, Phil Wagoner. Pleasure. Yeah, Here. get a hold of me. Oh, you got a card? Yeah, I got a card. Yeah, we get a card. I'll, let me actually see. just had them made. Beautiful. You yes, it, that's gorgeous. I'll reach out to you. We'll get you on. Look forward awesome. To Thanks, Phil. All right, so we're going to get Phil on this. Like I said, kind of just, you know, said my Kim work sucks, but we'll stick that in my pocket. And then what else we got here? Just got this, but look at this. We got a 512 TR. Look at that. I love it. Ooh, that Nero and the black interior, my fave. But look at that. Outstanding. I guess that's the way to uh, promote it. Ooh, there you got stuff all smooshed up on it from Curious. I think this is a 92. Number three, but check out, they got the you know, shelvings down and whatnot. So, you know, getting a view of this stuff prior. So, let's get over here. Look at this view. Look at that. Look at that stunning package. Look at that. They must have did the tour. You can see the number on there. Stunning. Look at that. Oh, God. You know, these, I just love these things because look at the. I love the hood on it. I this is good. This thing's gorgeous. Look at this leather in here. Look at this beautiful. He's got his heat gun in there. I think he probably just <laughs> how warm his motor got. But look at this beauty. Look at those big old white walls. All right, let's get over. Oh, they got a Pagani of Miami. So let's see here. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, so I think I go that. We'll go over here to this Ford GT. Got a Pista. She got that color on that thing. Got an 812 comp. And we got an F40. Got every obligatory F40. Now, if you really want to step up your game, you need to have an LM. Which I'm surprised because I thought Curated had an LM that they were just kind of sitting on. Um, memory serves me. You know, one of the 19 LMs done by Michelate. So, but look at this. This beautiful green. Check that out with that paint with the exposed carbon. That's awesome. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Look at that green. That is gorgeous. Now, look at this. That's paint. That is paint. That is not a wrap. Because look at the stitching too on the inside. I don't know if you can see that stitching, it matches. That is paint. Look at that. Very nice. And look at this stunning. It's like a bronze. Brownish, bronzish color. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Got a Canadian flag on it. So I don't know if this is down from one. It's got a Florida tag on it. It's got a Canadian thing on it. So who knows? But up, oh, and there we go. Don't can it though. The obligatory F40 for the show, but thank God for these things. Got someday. Come on, guys, let's get this. Just blow up the channel, man. Let's get this thing going. We'll take these things around. We'll just put, get, make it one of the highest mileage F40s around. We'll just drive the piss out of it. AMG GTR. So we got a bunch of little mangustas underneath that one cover there. So we got stuff going out. But here, let's go over here to the Pagani. 
Look at this stuff. Oh, it looks, what is this? It's this little Bugatti. Look at this little Bugatti. Look at this thing. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at this deal. Look at that. Yeah, look at the interior on this thing. Look at that. Simplistic, but God, look at that. That thing's sweet. Look at that. Outstanding. You got these beautiful bends on here. Absolutely stunning. I was going to Pagani, Miami over here. Look at what we got. Got a Wyrock Tricoy. But look at this stunning, stunning car. Look at that. No smoking with anything, please. Look at that. Wow. Just look at all the details on this car. I mean, just unbelievable. The Mola Roadster. This is a convertible. Look at that. I mean, look at this detail in here. I know I'm using my magazine to point, but I got nowhere to put it. But look at that. Just stunning. Look at the engineering. Thing. It's just beautiful. Look at it down in there. I mean, look at that. Coming around, but look at back here with the active arrow. I mean, wow. Look at this. Now that's an ass. Look at that. Stunning. Now it says they got a. This is the. U <laughs> I want to say it looks like it's, it's the new Utopia that's under there. Um, just by the shape or anything, but ah, who knows? Don't know because we got clearly got a Wyra Roadster over there, but I'm curious to see. This is a Wyra Coda Lunga, so that's what's under there. So, all right. Now, we're enough, we're gonna go over to RM's uh, auction preview. We're gonna head over there, so it's a bit of a hike. So, I'm gonna pause this and we'll be back in a second. All right, all my fellow LinkedIn people. I got something here I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Either you're gonna think it's cool or you're gonna say it's a sacrilege. I'm not quite sure I'm on the fence, but I've said you've probably seen this before, but seeing this thing in person is just crazy, but check this thing out. Yes, my friends, that is an F40 in, I wanna say pistachio or mint green. I don't know what you'd wanna call that. Let's kind of zoom a little more, but I mean, I love the blue and the chairs and the seats. Chairs. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and if you look at that, that is painted. Um, it is not a wrap. I'm almost positive. Let me see. It's hard to tell. But, I mean, thoughts, comments? Put them down below. Let me know what you think of this F40 in this mint pistachio green. All right, guys, we're over here now at Sotheby's preview for the auction. I don't think it starts, I think it starts tomorrow, but we're going to check out some things that are back over here in the corner, then we're going to get over there to that kind of stuff over there. Like I said, I don't know how well the mic's going to work, um, and I forgot to bring another battery, so I might have to switch to my phone here, but we got the obligatory new GT3 RS. I mean, people are still getting, you know, hefty, nice uh, upcharge on these things, 100 100 grand over sticker, 80 to 100 grand now. I know they're trying to get two to 300 at first, but you know, now they're just hitting everywhere and somehow, somewhere people are getting around and stuff. And I don't know, look at the rocks, everything right there and that thing. But take a look at this. I've got mint green, pistachio green. I don't know whatever you want to call this F40, but look at that thing. I mean, somebody's gonna say it's a sacrilege. So I'm going to say, oh my God, I love it because it's not red. You know, something different. So let me know your opinions and thoughts on it. So I kind of dig it. Um, I'd drive that thing in a heartbeat. Of course, I mean, why would you? It's an F40. So but check this out. Kind of tucked back over here in the corner. Look at this beautiful, beautiful car. McLaren Elva. Look at that. I mean, look how low you're to the ground. I mean, look at that. Your ass is just skimming the pavement but look at that but look at this beautiful look at those trumpets on there but look at that stunning 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 so let's go around over here oh real quick we're gonna catch 
the infamous, the legendary Mr. Ken Block. Godspeed, my friend. But look at his truck they got over here. I don't know if it's going to be going running through or something, but look at this. I mean, just, God, that man could drive anything, but look at this thing. I mean, that's just unbelievably cool. I mean, look at that thing, just sucking in the air into those turbos. I mean, that's cool. All right, and go over here. This is one of my all-time favorite cars. This thing is unbelievably cool. And, you know, I, it doesn't get the love it should. I don't know why, but this thing is too cool. I love these things. I mean, XJR15. I mean, these things are so loud. You got to have a headset and... I really can't fit. I mean, there's two seats, but man, it's a tight fit. But you need to have a headset to uh, talk with your passenger. But that thing is just, I love these things. I think those things are just so cool. I think they're under the radar. I think they're undervalued. I mean, that thing is just too cool. Tom Walkinshaw, I know what he's doing. And then we got this gorgeous P1 in this matte black. Look at that. I mean, that is sweet. I like that in that matte black. That is gorgeous. And then we got the new. Third gen for GT. Look at that. And look, so let's go over here. Like I said, I'm not sure much longer. My battery's gonna last over here, so I'm gonna try and get over here. Got another F40 sitting over here. I'm trying to hustle up because they got some cool stuff over here. Check out that plane. Go Army. I think I was supposed to say go Army. The G's that are kind of missing. I was gonna say go Amy. I was gonna say, or got Amy, but it's supposed to be go Army. It's supposed to be an R there in the center, so. I would assume that's what supposed to be, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But here, here's the uh, stand. It's got this Ferrari motor on it. I posted this before, but look at this. Check that out. $125,000 to $175,000. Got a Trumbo V12 on there. Engine test stand. Now, man, if you're a Ferrari collector, that's like the piece de resistance. I mean, look at that sucker. Look how, just, I mean, look at the weights they use to balance and get everything. I mean, Unbelievable, you know, they made it happen with stuff like this. I mean, unbelievable. I right, come over here, we got a Euro F40. Kind of everything's open up, it's kind of cool, so you can see the inside in here. Check that out. I think that tape's coming apart. This thing's looking a little bit rough. I mean, look at the fan shrouds. This thing's been driven a bit, that's for sure. All right, so we had to switch to my phone because Freaking GoPro got too hot as usual and just shuts off. So we're switching to my phone. And he said we were working here on this F40. Like I was saying, this thing's uh this thing's had some fun, that's for sure. Look at the yellow machine, but look at this. It's uh look at the patina, we'll call that on the radiator shroud. But look at that. I mean someone enjoyed this. That's for sure. God bless them. Curious to see what this goes for. Now, this would be something we'd want to acquire for the channel. Because, see, you could drive it. You just got to do the service and that. But we could put some miles on this thing. Have some fun with it. Take it around to shows. Take people for drives in it and stuff. So, this could definitely be doable. But look at that. So, all right. Let's go down here. See what else you got. You got, that's a, got your obligatory gall wing. There's the uh, 265 Cal Spider. What do you say, seven of them? Six? I mean, I know there's not that many of these built, but look at that. Look at that. So my, I don't know how my camera's going to be with my phone. Let me turn it this way. Maybe that'll be better, huh? Zoom a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Coming around, and then we got the gorgeous. Look at this bat. Next to it. Look at that. 250 Europa. Absolutely stunning. I love this color. I mean, and what's cool about this, look at how on here by Vignali that is. Look how the height is here to here, but then look at how top that roof is. It's almost like a hot rod. You know, he took some styling cues from the hot rodders you know, over out in California and chopped this really low and got that on there. I mean, check that out. That is too cool. Oh man. What's the estimate they say on this sucker? Let's see, look at this beast next to it. That is a car and a half. So, let's see here. They got an estimate of four and a half to five and a half million. That's a big window. So, let's go around out here. 
and see what else we can find. Got M3 over there. Like I said, we're just kind of hashing it up because I'm going to have to get uh, some new batteries. So let me see what we got sitting out here. You know, let's go in the tent and see what we got. See if we got anything cool in there. Do a quick walkthrough. Like I said, you know, what we're doing here is just kind of doing a preview. Tomorrow and Sunday are the shows and the auction. The really kind of cool stuff. I don't know what else we see, but check this out. Okay, here we go. Look at this. CLK GTR. Look at that. Wow. Now, that is not one of the road going versions. That is a race one. So, you got to have some dollars to have some fun with this. Well, this is a sealed bid car. So, this isn't going through the auction, this is going through the sealed bid transaction that they start doing. But look at that. Check out this cool Chris Craft. Look at this thing. Like half and half. Look at that. Oh, it's a bar. Look at that. That is too cool. That is unbelievable. That is too cool. It's half of a Chris Craft. Someone put some time into that. Look at that. Too cool. All right, let's go down here. We got the 575 Super America. We got an estimate of 400 to $550,000. Check that out. I don't know about the color, though. That one tranny. I don't know. I don't know how much juice I got left in this thing, so I'm kind of whipping through this a little bit. Look at that rough. Check that out. That's cool. My arm's getting tired holding this, holding this up. Yeah, it's beautiful. Is this an NXXR? Uh, it sure is. Red hand drive from Japan. Check that out. This R. And then we have a 250 GTE 2 Plus 2. So you got a back seat. I don't know who's going to fit back there, but this is at $400,000 to $500,000. Stunning stuff. Well, look at this Lexus LFA. It's a love hate there, but that's got probably one of the best sounding engines you ever hear. That thing is just stunning. Look at that. Nice Porsche. We got ourselves a 289 Cobra. Yeah, it's going around. We got another. Look at this. Let's see here. Well, they got an estimate on this 289. 1.1 to 1.3 on this. See, that's nice because it's very, it's not one of those big bulbous like the 427s are. It's just a beast, but i take either one. But check this out. F12 TDF. We got 1.1 to 1.3 on the TDF. I know there's someone on the one thing I belong to was looking for one of these. That thing's gorgeous. Got the Veyron. Right? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's very wrong. It's still getting what? Wow, 1.7 to 2 million still for these very Wow. And then we got the track only Ford GT. Look at that. Whew. That thing's putting out some downforce. That thing. All right. Got the Career GT. Oh, they got uh, memorabilia going on there. But look at this Carrera GT. Is that black on black? Yep. Oh, there we go. Well, they got this estimated at 1.6 to 1.8. 1.6 and a half to 1.8 and a half. You need to see where that goes. But look at this beauty right here. Gunther Works. We saw the other Gunther Works over there, but look at that. That thing's... That thing's cool looking. Look at that. We got another the LFA. Going over here. Oh, we got the turbo. 3.6 turbo. I love these. Stunning. Just, it's just very classy. Very classy. Curious to see where they got this estimated at. Let's see what we got here. Wow, four and a half to five and a half. Huh. Look at that. If I win the lottery tonight, I'll bid on this tomorrow. We got another rough over here, but look at this. 
Is that another P1? Who wants to get 50,000? $50,000. And here's another underrated, under the radar supercar, Sailing S7. Again, oh, is this a twin turbo? No, they only got this at basically six to seven hundred thousand. But again, another underrated, under the radar car. Imagine pulling this thing, up to this thing into Cars and Coffee or something. I mean, twin turbo V8. I mean, that thing's pushing out, I think, seven or eight hundred horse. But look at this thing. Unbelievable. Let's see, we got the BTR rough turbo R. Going down the line. We got early, is this the Periscopo? As they would call it, I'm probably hacking that up. Periscopio Countach. And those who don't know, what that means is you actually have a periscope. The mirror comes out so you can see out the back is right there. The way they did it up, I don't know if you can see that. But there you go. Fiat SL. Got our Aston coming around. So, anywho. That's gonna wrap up, I think. I might have a few more things I'm gonna go around and check out and see. Uh, but if I do, I'll post it because there's a spiker over there. We're gonna check those things out. There's a couple other things, but see what else I can hunt down. If not, that's gonna wrap up day one here. Check it out, and day two's coming because there's gonna be a lot more cool stuff, and the weather's gonna be stunningly beautiful. So, stay tuned. We're coming from Moda, Miami. All right, guys, so as you know, Curie is playing a big role here in Moda, Miami, and got this all put together with RM and that, and. For those of you that know, Curated is massively into Lamborghinis. They can source some of the most rarest exotic Lamborghinis out there in the market. But take a look at what we got lineup wise here. Look at that. Stunning. Let's see if I can zoom. There we go. A little bit. Look at that's from this was that Audrain last year. But look at that. Gorgeous. So let me go around. We got here. Diablo GT. I do not know Lamborghini colors there, but you know, that's just stunning. But then I think this is one of one, according to uh, Mr. Tamarian. This was a balloon white, Bianco white, or something like that. Balloon white, I think they said it was. But look at that. Another Diablo GT. Yeah, this one, I think they just got a few weeks ago over from Japan. Japan seems to have a plethora of these. <laughs> hoarded over there because I know this one also as well and this was at Cavallino actually John Tamarian drove this over to Cavallino uh, a few weeks back up in Palm Beach oh look at that uh, I like that white but I also like this black on black I mean I've probably got black but you know it's just stunning 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 and then there we go going old school I love this green look at that Then we have another Diablo GT. This is just like Diablo GT Central. I mean, I don't know if you're ever going to see this many Diablo GTs in one place again. Well, maybe next year at Motor but look, you got five of them all right here. I mean, just unbelievable what they've assembled here in regards to all these vehicles. And then we got this gorgeous Mercy. Is it gated? Is it a gated? Yes, it is. Look at that. Gated manual, Mercy Lago. Stunning, right? Is it a Mercy? Yeah. Again, I'm not. Lamborghini Dallas. Stunning stuff. Gated manual. I love this blue. Stunning stuff. And then the Rambo Lambo. Look at that. I'd love to drive one of these once. That thing's just got to be unbelievable in regards to how that thing is. I mean, look at the tires on that thing. I mean, I, if you've never seen one of these in person, I highly, highly recommend checking one out. I mean, it's just unbelievable. You know, it's not massive, but the tires are just so wide. I mean, it's just, it just has that presence. I'm telling you, if you're in this area uh, and you didn't feel like going up to Mealy, because from my understanding, it's raining up there and it's kind of miserable, head down here to the Biltmore Hotel down here in Coral Gables, come to Moda, Miami, first inaugural event. This is going to be one heck of a show, guys. Look at the trumpets. Trumpets, air intakes, whatever I call them. Up there, look at that. I mean, 
I'm gonna suck it in some air. Look at that. <laughs> Motor Miami. The new Lamborghini Rivalto. Look at that. Stunning. Look at that. Stunning. And what's cool about this is right next door we got ourselves the new Countach. Look at that. White on white. Stunning stuff. Look at that. I mean, the white on white looks cool, but man, <laughs> you can't sit in it. You have to put covers over that because you're just going to ruin those seats like in a heartbeat. But look at the sight. Look at this intake on that. Jesus, but look at this. That's just white, white, and more white. Ooh. Vector. Look at that rare bird. And final call, Matt. $50,000. Look at that. I'm going to turn this sideways. one two vectors look at that my guess is they might have a couple more look at that how often do you see one of these things actually in motion uh, editorialing here in regards to this <clears throat> I apologize for that last little screw up there in the vector it got turned sideways my bad but we're looking at this gorgeous Jaguar XKSS, as you can see from the badge. Made famous by Mr. Steve McQueen, amongst other people. But he made it famous for tooling around in, in Hollywood, up in Laurel County, and up and down in Mulholland Drive, just ripping it and snorting it. <clears throat> this car, these cars just sound phenomenal. Then we take you over here to this gorgeous black Mura. I mean, this is absolutely stunning in black. Normally you see these things in those bright green, they glow green or whatever other colors, usually those you know, nice 70 funky colors, but this thing looks stunning in black. But hey guys, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. More to come from Moda from day two. Remember, hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Really appreciate it.